Good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. I have to get Milo neutered. Um, it's like 7.40 in the morning and his appointment is at 9. So we have to leave the house really early because we have like quite a drive to the place where he has to get neutered. <laughs> I'm so scared you guys like Milo is seven months old and I know he probably has to have already been neutered but they were so booked and today was the only day that they had available since the day that I called. Milo's just been acting kind of like a little bit weird like he's just been kind of moody um, he's also been pooping so much everywhere like mountains of poop like 30 to 40 poops all over the rug which is so bad and I'm really hoping that this neuter can you know help him not do that he's also been really cranky whenever I'd walk in the room and he didn't want to be touched he just thump and run in there thankfully he has not peed anywhere and that is something that I'm super thankful for because I know a lot of people have you know problems with their bunnies like you know peeing everywhere and marking their territory but Milo has just been the most amazing bunny that I could have ever asked for yes he poops everywhere and I hate it but I'm so thankful that he has not peed because I feel like pee is like the worst to deal with and trust me I know because he used to pee when he was younger when I first got him he would pee everywhere and then once he got used to his litter box, that's it. That's when it stopped, so. I'm really thankful. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys everything that I got to go on this little road trip with Milo and just show you guys everything in case you have a bunny and you might be wondering what to do on the day that they get neutered. So I'm gonna just explain everything in this video and hopefully it's useful for you guys. Okay guys, so really quickly, before we get into the video, I just wanted to show you something that I've been loving because you guys know how skincare- I know this video isn't about skincare or anything, but I thought I'd share it with you guys because obviously besides taking care of our bunnies, we have to take care of ourselves as well. So this is the Teamy Overnight Sleep Mask. It looks like this, super nice and lightweight, kind of feels like a moisturizer, but you just take some and then you just put it all over your face. And then I use a jade roller, also from Teamy. This jade roller is really amazing. And I just kind of roll that into my skin. And I really love this because it has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, it also has vitamin C. So if you guys want to go and check this out, um, this is what has been helping my face stay nice and clear. I will have it linked down below as well as as well as a coupon code for you guys it will be right here on the screen as well as in the description box so go treat yourself all right let's get back to the video so here is what i got for my road trip with milo and i'll show you <laughs> he's so cute oops <laughs> so this right here it looks like this this is a portable litter box and the reason why I decided to get this was because I knew that Milo was going to, you know, probably have to do his business and I didn't want him I didn't want to just put a pee pad in there and then potentially have it leak through and ruin the carrier. So, just to be safe, I got this, but you don't have to. You can just line your carrier with you know, pee, a pee pad and you know, you should be fine. But if you want to play it safe, then just get this. Um, I don't know if that's going to really fit in there, but we'll see. Thankfully, I was able to fit it into his carrier. By the way, this is a carrier that I use now. I used to have like a little backpack, but those are no good for your rabbit. So you want to make sure you get one that looks like this. Um, that your rabbit is going to be comfortable in. And now I'm also going to just put some hay because I know obviously it's probably going to want to eat on the way there. So, Alright guys, Milo is all packed and ready to go. 
So let's go, shall we? Oh, so you books. Oh my god, my poor baby, don't look at me like that. Hey, baby, I'm sorry. Did you want to do the laser therapy post op, which is $20 additional? The laser helps promote healing. Yeah, I'll do it. Is he on any medication? No. And I'm going to check Milo in. Doctor is going to do the examination and then call you, so just hang tight in the parking lot until you hear back from the doctor, okay? Okay, thank you. Guys, see what I mean? Milo already peed in, in his little thing, which is, and he also pooped, so I'm really glad that I got this because that would have been bad. Guys, she just took my poor baby. Okay, so this is the cup that I got for Milo. It looks like this. They just took Milo in for a pre-surgical examination, which means doctor's gonna take a look at Milo, make sure he's healthy, make sure everything's good, and he is able to have surgery. I'm not exactly sure what he's gonna be looking, probably like for his weight and anything, like any health issues. I don't know what exactly, because I'm not a vet, but. And then she said, once he gets okay, then he is good to go into surgery. So then they're gonna call us and let us know. And then he'll be in surgery for, I don't even know how long, my poor baby, oh my God. That they're gonna give him anesthesia. That is just so freaking sad. I don't even know what me and my dad are gonna do because we're gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna eat, because you said you're gonna pay for lunch. <laughs> okay. Fine. And breakfast having to get your rabbit fixed can be pricey usually it can range from like 50 to even like 500 dollars i had to travel almost an hour to get here which is crazy but the closest vet to me they wanted to charge me 250 for the surgery and another 250 for the anesthesia and then another 100 dollars for the pre-surgical examination can you believe that so here, I, this hospital, they offer like a reduced low cost spay and neuter program. And you can purchase this voucher online for only $100, which covers the whole entire surgery. The only thing that I had to pay for was for his pre-surgical examination, which was $50, I believe. Which is fine because that's how much I paid for his last vet visit so that's that's fine that's better than a hundred dollars I really recommend if you're gonna get your rabbit neutered or spayed definitely go online go to the rabbit house society and search up for your place wherever you live see if they offer a low cost reduced spay or neuter because you don't want to end up paying so much money and then you know you can get it for so much cheaper this is why I also recommend that you if you're gonna buy a bunny I definitely recommend to go to your local shelter. I know a lot of people don't want to get it from a shelter because they think that it's weird or whatever it is that people think. But I really recommend that you adopt from a shelter because the rabbits there are already fixed so you don't have to worry about that. And you're also helping out a bunny. So don't shop, adopt. And I'm also gonna study because I have an exam tomorrow, so. Bye. See you guys in a bit. So, um, Milo, I've checked over from head to toe. And beautiful buddy. I see no problems at all with him on the physical exam. Um, um, have, has there been any problems at all at home previously? No, everything seems perfectly fine. Good. Good. And um, how long have you had Milo for? And so the, the, the main reason we neuter male rabbits are to prevent or eliminate hormonal behaviors caused by testosterone. Okay, I don't know why my freaking camera stopped recording. I don't know if my... I don't know if my, um, what do you call that? My memory card ran out of memory. Doctor just told me that they're putting him under anesthesia right now and my heart is crumbled in pieces because that's just so sad. Hey guys, so I just got a call from the vet and 
Wait, uh, not the vet, the nurse. She said everything is good. Um, everything turned out well. My Lord just woke up from anesthesia and he's doing really, really good. So I'm really happy about that and I hope that he's feeling okay. So right now it's like almost 11.30 and we have to pick him up at 2.30, so. I don't know what we're gonna do till then, but we just finished eating some breakfast and now I think I'm just gonna study, so I'll see you guys when we pick him up. Why are you mad at me? Mommy loves you. I was gonna give you a treat, but I can't. Hey guys, so Milo has just been in his hidey house the whole entire time. Um, I also placed a sock that I put in the dryer to be a little bit warm. You, you wanna make sure it's not too warm because it can burn them, but it was just a little bit warm just to keep him warm and help him because I know he must be in a lot of pain. So, um, he has been eating um, not too much hay, but I just fed him. This is Oxbow Critical Care. If you don't already have this, I really recommend that you get this for your rabbit. This is great for when they don't want to eat. Um, it has all the nutrients and I have this little syringe that I used to feed him and right here I just have water I still have like you can see like a little bit of the residue from here but what I do is Milo hasn't really been drinking much water as you guys can see his water bowl is still to the top so what i do is i kind of trick him into drinking a lot of water by filling up this syringe all the way and i did it twice he drank like 20 milliliters of water which is really good because he hasn't been drinking much water it comes with like a little scoop and it's kind of like powder in there you scoop it out and then you put it like in a little bowl and then you put some water until it's like this kind of like pancake batter consistency and then you use a syringe to syringe feed them he's just grooming his little giraffe he's so cute oh my baby so I already set up his litter box, but I'm going to switch it into this because I know Milo's probably in a lot of pain and the last thing that I want for him to do is to have to jump this much of a, I mean, it's not much. He doesn't have to jump much, but I feel like obviously this is gonna be a little bit better. You know for him it's like a little easier for him to hop into this i don't have anything lower i should have gotten something lower so remember if you're gonna get your bunny neutered or spayed definitely get like a very low top litter box just so it's easier for them to go into it because that's what his litter box is looking like so it's just a little easier for him obviously it's not as much space as this one i am aware but it's very it's just very temporary just until he gets better. Forgot to film an outro, but I just wanted to say that Milo has been doing good post-surgery and he's been eating well. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also go check out my Instagram as well as Milo's. I'll have everything in the description box below. God bless you guys. God loves you. Show love. Bye. Show love, show love, show love. Show love, show love, show love. Let them hate all they want. Show love. And when you finally come up, show love.